So I was called to diagnose this vehicle. Sorry, uh, this is Elantra 2017. It's having an issue and it's 1.5. So I think it's having an issue. This is the main problem the fuel pump circuit and there is the fuel pump control in it and there is the fuel pump control in it so what i've done now is you can see i've connected it the gray wire is the power and when i checked there is no power and the, the yellow pin is the power and the green the red one is the ground but when i checked the ground i was having ground but i was not having power so what i'll do now is uh, uh, um, i'll tap power from this cigarette lighter then i'll crank the car but for now that i don't have power when you crank wow now it looks like it is back because i just tapped the fuse. so it is a solid state really and i think i'll leave it okay so I think it is going to shut off because there is less pressure. Uh, so, because there is less pressure, that's why. Because the pressure is done, so you can see it's cranking, but it's not starting. And it will go off again because there is no power to the fuel pump. So, you can see. So, what I'm going to do is um, let me supply power to the fuel pump here. Then, let me crank and let it run for a while. Now that it has built power, you can see now there is enough fuel pressure for the vehicle to run. And I have the connection here. So I have the connection here. If I disconnect it, the vehicle might not run properly. So you can see. So it's a power issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my wiring diagram and make sure I'm able to test the necessary Thing. So now I have to move to the fuse box and test the fuse and the relay. So that's what I'm going to do. But for now, the vehicle is running because I'm supplying power to the fuel pump um, control module here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So it will go off because I've disconnected the power after the pressure has run down. So we'll continue on the wiring diagram and start tracing from there so after several hours of diagnosing now i found out that this connector the f the uh, ef11 and the erc so i have to test on the erc so what i'm going to do is at this pin i'm going to send power to this pin and test here if that power will turn on the moment the test light turns on then that means continuity from this side to this side is okay then i have to deal i have to deal with the solid state really that's where i have to deal with it now so i'm going to do that continuity testing and there is the there is the fuse that controls it and it has the solid state relay in it so So for the load test, now that I've connected it to power to this side, it should turn on. And you can see my test light is on. So that tells me that continuity test, everything is okay. So from here to the relay, i oh, sorry, from here to the fuse box controlling it, it's okay. So it's left to me to check why the fuse box is not turning on or why the relay is not turning on. So let me search for the command line plug everything back then try and crank and see if it will be able to send command to the um, to the solid state relay to activate the relay if it does that then that means the problem will, if it doesn't do that then that means the problem is from the command line if it does that then the problem is fixed so let me do that test so when i checked um, i didn't get anything so you can see the erd that tells me that five amps from that fuse. So it is a solid state relay. It could be that that relay is not being activated. But when I tested the fuse, the fuse is working. So now I need to test for this pin and it is beneath the fuse box, so which I can't do that now. So what I'll do is um, I'll check for pin 15, which is on top of the fuse box that I showed you. So I'll check that one. If I check and it's not receiving signal from that then i don't know what to do 
but for now i'm hoping to receive signal from that so after several hours of diagnosing when i checked the wiring it was telling me e, uh, era and this is where era is located so with the era it tells me pin for uh, 15 and pin 15 if you check here it's an empty wire and this is the old engine harness which the client replaced so if you check our diagram it's on it's a blue wire which connects to the ECU. so this is the old one so with the old one it has this blue wire which activates the fuel pump control module so without this blue wire the fuel pump control module will not activate so if you check the two of them you see that this doesn't have that blue wire to activate the fuel pump control module that's why the fuel pump is not having any power going to it so i have to lay a wire that goes to it or i have to change this particular wire if not then i have to do the wiring lay it onto it then for the vehicle to work thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so now this is the blue wire that i'm talking about so this is what i have to do i have to lay a wire from here to this pin but before i do that i'm going to supply ground because it looks like this fuse 10 right so that tells me that i can supply ground to this and it will work because there is no connection from here to the control in it uh, to the solid state really i'm going to supply ground to it and when it activates i'll speak to the client about it then we find a way of um, laying a wire from here to that connector so i have to search for which connector it is and it is c312 that means the second connector so i'll do that but before that let me do my proof of theory then i'll run the vehicle and see if it will run so now there is the empty pin and i've jammed it with my wire and it's not heating because it's a really a solid state really and you can see that now my light is on so what i'm going to do is i'll let the client start the vehicle and you can just start so that we will see if the vehicle will run you can start so we'll see yeah and the vehicle is running because of this problem so i'll change the i'll lay a wire from here to the control unit so that the problem will be fixed easy that, that will be best than replacing all the wires because he has a problem with the wires so i'll do that and i'll call it a fix thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos